Okay, after the annuity due, we have the deferred annuity. Okay, so uh, definition on ordinary annuity is uh, or deferred annuity is uh, like it's just like an ordinary annuity where the first payment is deferred or delayed. Yung lang pinaka simple definition don. And ang pinaka uh, madaling example is yung buy now pay later. Okay, you buy things and then your uh, payment. Uh, is going to be uniform at uniform intervals pero the first payment is delayed and the uh, next payments are also delayed as well okay parang uh, if you plan to buy something okay worth p and then sabi okay sir uh, six months to pay pero you for you pay your uh, first uh you for you pay your first payment after three months that is already deferred annuity okay Annuity pa rin kasi uh, pare-parehas yung payments pero delayed nga lang siya. Okay? So that is deferred annuity. And how what is the formula or what are the formula para dito sa uh, deferred annuity? So hindi ako mag-introduce ng ibang formula kundi ang gagamit nating formula is yung pang doon pa rin sa ordinary annuity. Okay? Let's say ganito mag example na ako. Let's say, you are paying 10,000 uh, annually. 10K, 10K. Let's say, for 10 years. mag example na lang tayo ng may numbers. I think that is uh, more effective that way. Okay, yan. Okay, so this is 0, and then 1, uh, then 2. Let's say, you pay your Uh, first payment after three months. Okay, and then you have this amount B. <clears throat> so this is going to be ilan to? Well, it's twelve to, no? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's ten payments. Okay. So. Um, let's say you are trying to uh, determine its future worth. Kung future worth ang pinag-uusapan, the formula is going to be the same as the ordinary annuity. Okay? So, F is equal to A. Or let's say F is equal to uh, the amount of the uni uh, uniform payments times 1 plus i let's say the uh, interest rate is 10% annually just remember rem just remember if the payments are made annual then your interest rate should be compounded annually if the payments are semi annual then your interest rate should be every semi annual okay so it's that easy tapos ilang payments diba it dito to f mo eh this is your f correct so kung ano man yung, kung ilang payments man, yung nasa likod niyan, at saka yung nasa tapat niya, kasama yung nasa tapat niya, edi, eh yun yung exponent nito, raised to 10, minus 1, <coughs> over i. Okay? So, ganun lang. That is simply the formula for the future worth of a deferred annuity. Annuity. Pero yung n, baka kasi ang ilagay mo sa n, is yung from 0 to 12. So, that's wrong. Ang kailangan mo is kung ilang payments yung lumitaw o kung ilang payments yung ginawa mo. Okay? Or you can simply uh, P, use P, then i-abante mo ng uh, 12 years and then that's your F. That is similar. Dapat ang sagot noon parehas kapag kinampit mo yung future worth itong P, din lang mo dun sa 12. Or kinampit mo yung future worth na itong uh, 10 payments mo Dapat parehas sila ng value. Dapat parehas sila ng sagot. Okay? And then, how about calculating the present worth P? Ito. Ito yung medyo kailangan natin ng... <coughs> ah, actually, wala nang bagong formula eh. So, di ba, kapag uh, ginamit mo yung formula na present worth P, A times 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative N over I. Di ba itong present worth P na to, Lumilitaw to one period behind the first payment. Tama ba? So, if this is your first payment, then kung ano man yung na-compute mong P dito sa formula na to, it appears dito sa may uh, one period behind the first payment. Now, the uh, 
Next thing you are going to do is to transfer that calculated P doon sa kung saan mo siya hinahanap. Okay, let's see sa example natin, it is uh, nakakaatras ng uh, two, uh, tawag dyan, two payments, okay, or two periods. And D, that's one plus I, raised to negative, kung ilan man yung iaatras niya. Ama, ano bang tawag natin doon? Let's say D na lang. Hindi ko alam kung tawag at ibang book dyan. Okay, that's it. And this D is ito. Mula dun sa ito. Kung baka kasi isipin mo yung D ay ito. Baka, yun, baka isipin mo yun yung D. Well, that's not. Kasi D should be this uh, gap from uh, year 0 hanggang dun sa position ng present worth P. Na kinumpit mo. Okay, so that's it. Yun lang. Okay. Yung D natin is ito. This is your D. Okay? The uh, time or number of periods your payment is deferred. Ayun. Pero tandaan mo dapat nakaatras ng isa. Yung yung D. Okay tayo ron? Okay. So ibig sabihin if your payment is deferred 10 months Ah, kasi yung 10 months tapos yung payment mo is uh, na andyan then your D is force 9 okay basta yung tandaan mo yung uh, D natin is uh, one period na katras from the first payment I am pretty sure that uh, other books have this formula written differently pero at least you understand the concept okay okay tayo so for the present worth use this formula na parang uh, present worth lang na ordinary annuity then iaatras mo lang and for the future worth use, use the formula for ordinary annu annuity as is lang okay tayo ron? okay <coughs> let's start solving examples oh this should be example number 1 sabi today is September 2, 1978 10 years ago you deposited 10 pesos per month you made the deposit continuously for 6 years and then stopped and then stopped in September 2, 1982 you established a belts and nuts factory starting September 2, 1982 you withdrew uh, you withdraw 100 pesos a month for an advertisement so how many months can you withdraw before the money is uh, exhausted so interest is 6% compounded monthly okay so for us to uh, solve this problem we have to, uh, of course, draw the uh, cash flow diagram para maintindihan mo kung ano yung uh, inasabi ng problem. Okay, so, this is now. Ito yung September 2, 1978. Okay? So, sabi, 10 years ago, you deposited 10 pesos per month. Okay, let's write our um, our cash flow diagram in months. Okay, 10 years ago is uh, 120 months ago. So, let's write this negative 120. Okay, negative 120, negative 119, and so on. Siyempre, marami yan. Oops. Okay. So, yan. Naghulog ka daw ng tig sa 10 piso. For how many months? Uh, 6 years. And it, 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 that's ilan yun? From 120 to uh, negative 60. Naman ba? Mapasa ganun. <coughs> to, yan. Pero I think that's not 60. I think, ano lang yan? Uh, 61 siguro. Tamba. 61. Dun sa negative 61. Okay. Negative 61st month. Okay. So, naghulog ka. And then, tumigil ka daw. Okay. Pinabayaan mo lahat ng hinulog mo. Okay. Then, ang sabi, 
uh, in September to 1982. That's five years from now. So that's 60 months ahead. Okay, so putol putol ulit since mahaba nga timeline. <clears throat> Tapos, you withdraw 100 pesos a month for advertisement. Yeah, 100 pesos. 61, 100 pesos. And then you did that for, yun ang hinahanap, gano katagal bago mo naubos yung inipon mo. So, naghulog ka ng tig sa 10 piso way back 10 years ago. And then, pinabayaan mo siya after uh, 5 years. And then, pinabayaan mo siyang... Siyempre, nag interest pa rin yan dito sa time na to. Diba? Kasi, tinago mo siya sa kung ano, banko or kung ano man. So, nag interest yan. For 6% compounded monthly. That's 0.5% every month. Okay? So, tapos, after 5 years, after 60 months, nagsimula kang magbunot ng pera. Okay? So, yun. So, ang tinatanong, gano'ng katagal bago ma-exhaust yung pera mo na inipon mo. Kasi inipon mo, then uh, unti-unti mo rin yung hugutin. So, that's what is being asked. Okay? So, ang ating interest rate is 6% compounded monthly. Of course, every month divided by 12. So, that's 0.5% every month. Okay, so let's solve. Teka, anong magiging strategy natin dito? Okay, how will we uh, find the... Um, how will we uh, determine the uh, number of months? Ang plano ko di... Actually, ang, agoy, ang dapat maisip mo lang dito, basta dapat yung hinulog mo, lahat ng hinulog mo, ay equal sa lahat ng bubunutin mo. Then, kailangan pagtagpuin mo sila sa isang timeline lang. Okay? I mean, sa isang panahon lang. So, if you want to uh, bring them back to zero, then that's it. Ganun lang kadali. Okay? The concept here na bago sa deferred annuity is that the present worth of the annuities can be moved back or can be, can be moved forward. Okay? Tulad na ito, kukunin natin yung future worth nito, then we bring natin forward. Ito naman, ay kukunin natin yung uh, present worth and we will bring that backward. So, pagtatagpoin natin sila. Okay? So, ganun lang ang gagawin natin solution. <clears throat> I think the answer is not going to be exact but anyway, let's try. So, um, <clears throat> so, yung 10 payments na yun, basta alam natin, uh, uh, ipon equal sa lahat ng we need draw. Ang ganyan na lang para mas madali. Ipon equals with draw. Yung inipon natin, dadalhin natin lahat dun sa time zero. Okay? So, kung gagawin natin, kukunin natin yung future worth natin. Future worth and then dadalhin natin back to zero. Okay? So, gano'n. Ah, hindi ko sure pero I don't want to geek out on the uh, details ko nga nasaan bumagsak yung last payment. Basta ang gagawin ko, you have 60 payments because yung, ay hindi, sorry, 72 payments pala. Mali pala to. Kasi 6 years pala, sorry, siguro may 6 years nga pala siya. So, hindi lang sa 61. Bale, ilan yun? For 6 years. So, 120, 72 yun, di ba? Tignan. Uh, negative 120, 72, 48. Nasa 48 ba? Anyway. Na, siguro nasa 49th? Nasa 49th siguro. <clears throat> Kasi kung bibilangin mo isa-isa yan, medyo matagal. So, 120, tapos 110, Oh, tama, tama. Nasa 49th na. So, kukunin natin yung future worth dito. Tapos, nadali natin doon sa zero. Okay? So, that's ang future worth ng ipon mo ay uh, 10 pesos times 1 plus 0 0.005. That's 0.5%. Um, 72 payments minus 1. Okay? 
divided by i. That's your future worth f. Ito na yun, yung f na yan. Tapos, let's bring that forward to zero. That's 49 to zero. That's, uh, ayun, 49 periods. So, moving forward, 1 plus 0 0.005 raised to 49. Okay? Equals. Ito lang yun, ha? Ito, yun yun, yung f. Ito naman, ito yun, yung pagdala natin sa kanya sa zero. Yung lahat naman ng winidraw mo, is 100, kunin natin yung present worth mo nito. And remember that the present worth will appear here. Okay? Sa 59. So, i-address natin siya ng 59 din. Okay. So, um, 100 pesos, the present worth, 1 minus 1 plus i, raised to negative uh, x. That's what we are looking for. Number of periods. Uh, 0 0.005 atras natin ng 59 months so that's 1 plus uh, 0 0.005 raised to negative 59 okay so I think that will solve our uh, answer kumpitin muna natin to kasi baka mag magreklamo mag -reklam mag yung calculator eh, sabihin na evaluator not ready well, anyway right side muna tapos store na lang natin yung value 1 plus oh, sorry 1 plus 0 0.005 Oops 1 plus 0 0.005 raised to 4 to 9 equals 100 1 minus 1 plus i ay sorry Kukumpitin nga pala muna natin yung nasa kanan para yan. 1,103. May ibon at nagtutweet sa paligid ko. So, yun. Anyway. A equals. That's your right side. 100. 1 minus 1 plus I. Raise to negative X. Please wag kang mag-evaluate uh, or not ready. Let's try. That's 11. Oh, that's... Only 12. Wait lang. Oh, sorry. Hindi pa pala tapos. Meron pa ang nalimutan. Yung ano, yung... 1 plus 0 0.005 raised negative 72. Uh, 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 negative 59 pala. Shift solve. That's 15.42. Okay. <coughs> Oops. 15.42 months. Of course, after 15th month, almost na yung pera mo. So, the uh, answer is rounded uh, down. 15 months na lang. Okay, so this is our answer. Okay, so that's your uh, example for the deferred annuity. So, ganun lang ginawa natin. If you have other solutions for this, that is okay. Kasi pwede mong gawin kung may future worth dito, then iabante mo na doon sa may mismo doon. Tapos pag equity mo sila ng present worth na ito, that's okay. Okay? So, ganun lang. So, that's your first example sa so deferred annuity. Next example is N. So, the cash price of an apartment. Uh, condominium is 85,908 and uh, can be acquired. Sana ganyan lang Acquired by a down payment of 50k and a yearly payment of 10,000 at the end of each year for 10 years, starting at the end of 5 years from the date of purchase. If money is worth X percent compounded annually, what is the value of X? So here we are looking for, we, or we are solving for the um, interest rate. Okay, X. So ang gagawin natin, Ganito yun eh, sabi, bibili ka ng kondo worth 85,908. Pero, kailangan mo mag-down ng 50,000 pesos. So, ibig sabihin, may utang ka pa rin na 35,908 pesos. Okay? And next, um, sabi, ang hulog mo 10,000 each year. Okay? Sabi that uh, amortization will start 5 years from now, pero it will last for 10 years. Gets mo? So, if this is year 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. During this year, 
So yan na yung dyan, mag- dyan ka na maghuhulog ng 10,000. Okay? And that will happen for 10 years. Okay. So, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. So, yan. Yan yung mode of payment. Tanatanong, ano yung interest rate? So, titinam, kung titignan pa lang, this is deferred kasi nga delayed yung iyong bayad ng 5 years. So, ang ito pwede mo na itong i-simplify. Okay? Pwede mo na yan gawing 35,980. Yan yung present worth P. Lagyan natin. This is your simplified simplify uh, simplified p 35,000 35,908 Okay. So kapag kinuha mo yung present worth p nitong 10,000 na yan, dito din dito tama. Tapos i-address natin siya ng 4 years. Ganun lang ka simple. Okay? So, ganito ha, isusulat ko na lang sa sentence. Yung present worth neto can be written as 10,000, 1 minus 1 plus i, at hinanap natin is uh, interest rate. 10 years mangyayari yan. Tapos, iaatras pa natin ng 4 years, kasi itong nakuha natin na to is ito lang yun. Diba? Yung P na yan. And then, uh, atras natin ng 1 plus x, raise to negative 4, at ang press ang worth noon is 35,908 kasi yung binayaran mo naman na 10,000 10,000 uh, yun yung balance mo ay eh, na 35,908 so if we calculate that may ingay na ako dun sa ibon sana ay hindi niyo masyadong naririnig negative 10 x atras 1 plus x raise to negative 4 plus 35 minus 8 point zero zero. Oops. shift solve o yan so all roots are imaginary o merong isa nga negative so ang uh, root na sagot is point twelve. okay so, x equals 0 0.12 or 12% annually. So, that is our answer. Okay, so this is pretty much the same as ordinary annuity uh, except na kailangan mo pang gamitin yung concept ng pag-aatras or pag-aabante ng isang single payment uh, to anywhere doon sa cash flow diagram. Okay, next lesson is uh, perpetuity.